Hey folks, today I'll be talking about how to make a paper computer game first person shooter due to a request on one of my videos. And really, a uh, first person shooter, um, it's an interesting genre, but there's no reason it should be different from any other kind of paper computer game except in the kinds of puzzles there are in the, kind of, well, in the kinds of situations you find yourself in and in the angle. So first, you should draw something that obviously is going to look like a first-person shooter. So once it's drawn, uh, you play it pretty much the same way you play any other paper computer game. So to demonstrate that, uh, today, Tutorial Bot will be playing uh, as the role of the main character in this game, who I am calling Rex Bane Theophilus. And uh, Tutorial Bot, so you are Rex Bane, and you find yourself in this here facility. This is you, we're looking from your perspective, and this is a gun you're holding. I know my drawing is not the best, uh, but you will have to take on uh, this role, and uh, so what do you do? I will shoot the individual over there. Okay, well, um, so you try to shoot him, but what happens is, he's, since you're standing right in the middle of the hallway, he sees you and he shoots you first, so you die. Very well, I will save game. Okay, uh, so you're back, what do you do? Okay, I will hug the wall to the left so he does not see me, and then I will shoot him. Okay, it works. He's dead. You shot him. Excellent. I will pick up his gun and proceed to the next hallway. Okay, Tutorial Bot, you got his gun. When when you pick up a when you pick up a gun, um you can write that down in the inventory screen. This is the inventory screen. We usually write an E at the top of it by tradition in paper computer games. Here is uh, the gun you already have that you shot that guy with. And you just got another gun from the other guy. So you write that down as well. Um, normally, like if you were making a real game, you'd probably call them something more specific than just gun one and gun two, like maybe pistol and shotgun or you know whatever more specific kinds of gun you want to do. But just write that down so you can remember everything the player has. And then, now tutorial bot over here said he was going on to the next screen, so now we'll have to draw another screen for him to go to. Now, another thing you should probably, I mean, in a paper computer game, it's not, it's not as easy to do stuff with enemies as it is in a real FPS video game. So instead, uh, you should probably try to incorporate some puzzles in to help make it work better with the PCG format. For example, let's say in the next screen, maybe he comes to this place. Okay, tutorial bot, so once again, this is your gun. You're hiding behind these two crates uh, because there's a guy right over here, and you can hear on the, like, behind these crates, there's some more guys who are, like, talking to this guy and each other. Uh, if they see you, they will obviously shoot you. So, what do you do? I will jump out from behind the boxes and shoot all the people. Okay, well, as soon as you do that, they shoot you first, so you die. Very well. Save game. Okay, you're back. What do you do? I will stay behind the boxes and shoot this guy. Alright, you shoot that guy, and he, is, he dies. But, like, 
These other guys hear that, they go both directions around the boxes, and they shoot you first. You're dead. Save game. I will... Hmm. I will shoot the light fixture. Alright. You shoot the light fixture, it shatters, and no one can see what's going on. Now I will jump out from behind the boxes and shoot these guys. Alright. That worked. You got him. So, yeah, that you should uh, put some puzzles in there to help you deal with enemies. That's a good way to make it like a first-person shooter, but also work with the rules of a paper computer game. So, yeah, folks, that is how to make a paper computer game first-person shooter. Hope this helps, and good luck in making your own games, and let me know what you make. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, folks.